Hello everyone, welcome back to Robbing Minds on Channel TV. There's been a coup on the station, as you can see, I've taken over. My name is Latasha Angube, and I will be your host for the next couple of weeks. Thank you. Hi, Omojua. Hello, how are you doing? You look very good. Thank you so much. I love it. <laughs> Isn't it interesting yeah. how we've just like switched? Yeah, I mean, because I'm, I'm out of here. And, yes, you um, are. Someone had to do it, and I'm glad you came to do it. Thank you. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. How, you know, I feel so honored to be sitting in Ibuka's hallowed chair. And um, you've been sitting here for how many weeks now? Six weeks. Six weeks. How has it been? What's the experience been like it's been for fun. you? I've never hosted live TV. I've never done a live TV show ever before. Okay. So this was my first time. And, you know, they always say to do something for the first time, and this was it. And I totally, really enjoyed it. And they always say you I, never I forget your first. Yeah, because also, yeah, true, true. <laughs> and then you go and do it again and again. And right? again. It was really cool. Yeah. I've, I've enjoyed it. Okay. I've enjoyed um, it. Let's see. How was it? What was the first thing that struck you different about live TV and hosting Robin Mines? You have to be on your toes all the time. So you I have, have to be on my toes all the time. You have to be on your toes all the time because you cannot forget the question. You have to pick it at the right time. You're listening, you're, you're listening to the audience. You're, you're Sorry, you're listening to your guests. Mm -hmm. You're also listening to, the, to your producer. Mm -hmm. Your mind has to be sharp. You've got to be focused. It's been very, very interesting. I totally loved it. Mm. It called out things with me that I didn't know I had. For that you had. Yeah. What are some of the things that you will take home from this experience? Is that um, there's always room to do something different because this year, has, for me, has been about the next level, the next layer, adding different layers. Um, as an author, I'm going to do behavior change, just di different stuff. Mm. And also, of course, the Shivni, the Shivni scholarship thing. So basically, it's how when you're ready, when the time comes and you prepare yourself, you'll be fine. Because when I got the, I got, I got the notice to host the show about three days before, mm. if Somehow, I didn't sort of prepare myself before those three days. Before those it would have been much difficult to fit into that. And speaking about moving to the next level, you just talked about being an author and you wrote a book. Would you tell us a little bit about it? Starting from the title, because I have seen the artwork, okay. but to be honest, I haven't read it and I don't remember the name. So tell me. Digital, the new code of wealth. Okay. And basically, it speaks to the need for us to create more opportunities on the continent in Africa. It also speaks for, for the need for us to scale the ones that we have because of our challenges with poverty, not just today, as they would continue into the next 30 years mm. if, we don't do, if we don't do anything. So basically, I was expressing opportunities with respect to social media, with respect to the fourth industrial revolution generally, mm. uh, speaking to people in the industry that have created experiences or speaking to how you can use digital platforms for advocacy, for activism. I spoke to e-government in the book. I also spoke to the newbie who's never heard anything about the internet or social media ever mm. before. Try to guide them into that space and what to look out for, what to avoid, how to trend, how not to trend, how to thrive. I also spoke to faith and how social media has helped to, and the internet has helped to democratize uh, faith in terms of communicating faith, engaging conversations on religion, um, of course, it's about 350 pages, so I'm not going to say, say everything, everything of in, course. in two or three minutes. But basically, that's what it's been about. Well, here's hoping that it's not another aspire to inspire, uh -huh. no, no, to no, perspire, it's, it's and totally, then retire. It's totally, totally, totally far from it because it's very, very practical, real stories, real people, Real failings, real successes, real money. It's not aspire, aspire. Tell no, me, no tell me a end. personal anecdote from the book that is something that is very, you know, personal to you. EG, in the book, when, when I was, I, I just, I just left secondary school and mm -hmm. I was trying to get into an American university and someone, someone generates quotes for me that I could use them to shop on the internet. Mm. I, there was, I didn't know there was anything called Yahoo Yahoo or cyber fraud at the time. I'm talking about 2001, 2002. What was your email address back then? I'm not going to mention my email address. <laughs> back then. I'll tell you. Jaffet at Yahoo.com. But I did Jaffet at okay. Yahoo.com. Okay. Yahoo but of course, it's a dead email now. But I, I was like, look, this guy, this is not what I'm here for. I'm, I'm here to do university stuff. Mm. It wasn't based on my morals or anything. It just wasn't something that I was interested in. I needed to get into school. But when I look back now, that could have been the difference, really. I could have been, you know, with the FBI now, and I don't know. <laughs> so I'm glad that I didn't, I, that I was really, really focused on what I was about mm. at the time. So what is the next step for you now after Robbing Minds? Now, um... Because you're based in Robbing Abuja. Is just, it, I'm, I'm not based anywhere. I'm oh. all over the place. Oh, you're, a global, the place. you're a global citizen. Really and truly I am. Wonderful. Really and truly. 
But the next thing now is to, I need to settle down, not marriage, uh, settle down into school oh, and do I'm, behavior change. I'm, I'm happy you <laughs> talked about that. I understand you have a, an arch enemy on Twitter of some sort. And there was this thing that was trending recently about you and um, being, you know, engaged three times. No, no, no. no. What's been, that about? Been, you know, the thing is when you're, when you're out there, People just would create stories about you. And so you've for never me, been engaged? I've been engaged once, 2014. It didn't happen, but that was once. But let's say I was even engaged three times. That never happened, but I'm not going to start having conversations about what people are saying about mm. me. Because, again, I'm really a focused person. It's about what I'm, you know, get done. If it's going to be valuable, if it's going to touch lives, I'm not going to be addressing what some people are saying. Are saying. Like, that's not, that's, I'm not here for those things. I'm here mm. to get stuff done. So what do you have to say? Let's bring it back to more mm. serious stuff. Yeah. What do you have to say? But I asked you what the, what the next step was after rubbing my eyes. Like, I Maybe know this was just a, it was an interlude of yeah. sorts, yeah. but a very interesting one. Absolutely. And so right now after this, what is the next project on the cards for you? I have, it's like when somebody says I have an album out, so I have a book out. <laughs> People should go and buy the book. It's actually a very, very good book, even if I say so myself. But it's a really, I, really no, good it book. looks really great, and I'm, I hope you have a copy for me because I'm going to yeah, read yeah, it. I hope I you have a copy right now. Absolutely. We do, we do good business. <laughs> oh my God. My goodness, Omojua. Well, I guess all the rumors I've heard are true then. That was again. <laughs> I'll tell you that later. I sell my book. That's not a rumor. That's true. That's true. Okay. Um, you know, people usually have like godfathers or like people who like endorse their books. Yeah. Who was that person for you? Uh, a, a lot of people, Dr. Joe Abba, has been very, very supportive. The governor of Imo State has been very, very supportive. Governor Emeka Ehe mm. the governor of Kaduna State has been very supportive. Shegu Adini, one of the best writers out of Nigeria. He was my there. editor. Kaderia Ahmed, Ola Shonei. One of the big things that I've had going for me is that I have such powerful, important, serious people always backing me, always supporting. Also, a lot of young people. That's why it's very, very difficult to really know what somebody is saying about me because it's so hard to even like address the important people that counts that are like pushing you to listen to them before you start paying attention to what some some other folks. Some are irrelevant. I mean, they probably are relevant, but to me, they don't like. They, they They're not on your radar. No time to really get in that space. Yeah. Okay. Um, we just marked 100 days in office. Beyond the Both celebration, no, not us, <laughs> but the go, country. Okay, okay. Um, beyond the celebration, do you think our government is on course for a seamless four years? Generally, uh, Nigeria is going through a number of challenges that we need to pay attention to because you cannot fix it. The, the development will be very, very difficult when you're battling insurgency, you're battling kidnapping, you're battling you're battling banditry mm. and all of these things. Mm. So we need to, as a collective, come together and ask questions of our commitment to, to, a, to, to a developed Nigeria. Mm. What I often see is people in their silos, in their political silos, I'm PDP, I'm APC, I'm this and that. We need to have a conversation about Nigeria that really relegates all of those differences, also in terms of ethnic differences, mm. in terms of religious differences. And if I may, mm. and if I may, do you have... One thing to say to the government that they could do differently. Just one thing, because we have to go. They need to pick the best out of Nigeria, irrespective of those people's political leanings, irrespective of whether they supported them or did not support them. Wherever you find the, the right Nigerian that can get the job done, whether the person is a supporter or not, get them in. Let them work for Nigeria. Thank you, Omojua. It's pleasure. been amazing. I will be, I'm so honored to be filling your shoes. I'm thank I'm you. I'm out for you. I'm rooting Please for you. Please do. Thank I'm you. Rooting I'm rooting you. for all of us to win. Thank you, and thank you, everyone. Um, thank you. It's been a great afternoon. I think you should also say goodbye to the people. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. I'm going to see you next week. Latasha Ngube, Channels TV, Rubbing Minds out. Isn't me?